Since the Utah Lake Restoration Project proposal was accepted by the state of Utah in 2018, the LRS team has been working hard to get this complex project moving. LRS has worked with experts in environmental planning, ecosystem restoration, water, fisheries, terrestrial and avian wildlife, wetlands and plants, soils, topography, geology, and more to have a fuller understanding of Utah Lake and inform the project's details. Dredging is a foundational component of the project, and LRS has teamed with Geosyntec consultants, whose team brings a wealth of knowledge about remediation and restoration to the project. Hi, my name is Howard Cumberland. I'm with Geosyntec Consultants. I'm a senior principal. My responsibility is contaminated sediment and waterfront improvement projects uh, worldwide. One of the things that we do when, when we evaluate projects is we evaluate the sediments, we get the chemical concentrations of them, and we determine the best ways to remove those sediments without impacting the lake. Um, once we analyze the material here, we will then develop a dredging program to remove all of those impacted sediments, which will then reduce the load and the availability of the nutrients to cause algal blooms. Um, and we're going to use that, all that material beneficially to create habitat and to create islands for development. They've done it in Miami extensively. They've done it in the Gulf Coast. They do it in the Great Lakes even. So this is totally feasible. This is extremely feasible. This is, this is what people in the dredging industry do. This is what people in the environmental industry do is we determine the impacts and we ameliorate those. We fix those impacts. LRS has been working to collect as much data as possible about Utah Lake sediment. In 2020, LRS hired HGI, teamed with Cross Marine, to conduct a lake bottom resistivity survey. James Lawrence Cross Sr. Um, I'm the president of Cross Marine Projects. My name's uh, Nigel Crook. I'm a senior geophysicist with Hydrogeophysics, and uh, we're out here on uh, Lake Utah doing a stream of resistivity survey um, for uh, lake restoration solutions. So what we're actually looking at is the colored dots represent our eight voltage measurements going deeper down. So this is essentially, you know, going deeper down in depth. So we can see, you know, it's pretty low resistance, high conductivity, and the first layer which is essentially the water layer and then it gets higher in resistance as we go down through the sediments deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, this also allows us to see the information coming in about the boat speed from the GPS, tells us the water temperature from the depth sounder and also gives us the water depth, you know, the depth to the bottom of the lake here as well. We're making thousand foot distances between each track and going all the way across the lake but we're doing that at two miles an hour. A human walks about four miles an hour. So this is a little like walking to California and halfway back as <laughs> slow as you can walk. In addition to the Lake Bottom Survey, in the fall of 2021, Geosyntec teamed with Conetech to conduct cone penetrometer testing, or CPTs, in a number of key locations throughout the lake where phase one will take place. So my name is Andre Rudinets. I'm a staff professional uh, at Geosyntec. The procedure is called actually CPT cone penetration test. It incorporates the pushing the cone in the soil from the barge, sensing the resistance that the cone has on the uh, soil. So we measure some quantities like also resistivity and pore pressure. Pushing the cone down, we advance and getting all the log with all properties at each depth. So that will allow us to understand what the soil is and also the geomechanical properties of the soil that will be really crucial for the design. Additional CPTs will be conducted as the project progresses. In the coming months of 2022, core samples will be taken that can be physically examined for sediment properties and tested for any nutrients or other contaminants that may be present. In the summer of 2021, Geosyntec's team completed a comprehensive wetland verification of Utah Lake. My name is Tony Taylor. I work with Geosyntec Consultants and uh, I'm an ecologist with a background in ornithology. I'm Alex Mathis. I'm with uh, Geosyntec. I'm the uh, field lead for this project. So out here we have been doing uh, wetland verifications for the LRS around the lake. We're collecting field data for um, the boundary between the littoral shelf, which is your deep water, and the uh, vegetated shoreline, which is your wetland area. So what we're looking for uh, specifically here, so wetland delineations um, in the field typically consist of three variables, and that's hydrology, vegetation, and hydric soils. 
On the water quality side of things, our team has been running detailed models that assess the wave energy and circulation of Utah Lake, both in its current state and comparing it to what it would be like with islands. Technical review committees have been formed on fisheries and aquatic resources, and avian and terrestrial wildlife and habitat restoration. Modeling, input from experts, and data we have gathered have already informed the project design, and changes have been made to make the plan even better. Our focus is responsible restoration of Utah Lake that is driven by the best available science and research. We will continue to collaborate with world-class experts and scientists to make sure Utah Lake is restored to what it should be, a treasured resource that everyone can benefit from and enjoy.